You were today's years old when you found this out. Owl's legs are longer than you thought. When someone tells you to break a leg in an audition, it's because they want you to end up in the cast. When the first episode of a show is called Pilot, it's because it's the first time they're on air. The L in the store staples is a half-open staple. Flames don't have shadows. The blue side of the eraser is meant to clean up smudges made by the pink side. This is the creepiest McDonald's in the world. In 1986, this McDonald's opened for the World Expo in Canada. Because of its location and cool features, it was placed ahead of the competition. It had real plants, wooden floors, and art covering the walls. Instead of you being able to see the kitchen like in regular McDonald's, the creators hid it. And to get the food to customers, they placed it on a conveyor belt. Millions of people from around the world ate there because it was a must-see tourist attraction. At the end of the expo, it was closed and abandoned for years. Now it looks like this. Five things the queen has never been able to do. The queen isn't allowed to grow long nails. She also has to keep her hair neat and if she wants to wear makeup, it must look natural. The queen isn't allowed in public without a bodyguard. Each member of the family has up to five highly trained armed officers while they're out in public. The queen can't choose who she wants to speak with at formal dinners. The rule is she must begin speaking with the person on her right then switch to the person on her left. The queen has never been allowed to sign her autograph. The whole royal family has been banned from signing autographs for fans in case their signature gets forged later on. And finally, one of the most strict rules is how she's allowed to sit. In particular, she isn't allowed to cross her legs. The queen must keep her knees together while tilting her legs to the sides. Scientists may have found a way to live forever. There are companies that freeze you as soon as you die. This is called cryonics. They remove your blood and replace it with antifreeze so it keeps your cells alive. They then put your body in storage and freeze it at minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. They hope that one day in the future when technology and medicine evolves, they could be brought back to life. The dumbest lottery winners. After winning $1.3 million in the California lottery, Dennis Rossi filed for divorce from Thomas Rossi so she wouldn't have to share the money with him. Thomas decided to sue her for violating state law and he kept all the money. Michael Carroll won $14 million when he was just 19. After claiming he wouldn't spend the money on dumb things, he bought multiple luxury cars, mansions, and other expensive things. To this day, he lost all his money and works at a cookie factory. Jack Whitaker won $315 million in the US lottery. When he claimed it, he took it all in cash. However, thieves broke into his house and took millions of dollars. Here's why you should never swallow gum. In 2011, Samantha Jenkins fell into a coma and later died at the age of 19. After her death, her mom found dozens of empty gum packets in her possessions. She felt ridiculous suggesting that it might have something to do with her death, but she thought it was worth mentioning. The doctor later said the cause of death was because of a lack of minerals in her body, which was caused by malabsorption because of the chewing gum in her stomach. Here's what to do if you drop your phone in the toilet. First, get your phone out as soon as possible and dry the outside with something like a towel. Then power off your phone completely so you avoid short circuiting it. Now if you have an iPhone, take out the SD card on the side, but if you have a phone that lets you remove the battery, do that to allow more airflow so it could dry better. If you can, use a vacuum to suck out the water, but if not, tilt your phone side to side to allow the water to drop out. You may be thinking, Luke, what about putting it in rice? Well, studies showed that the best and quickest way to dry your phone is to let it air dry with good air circulation. Here's what actually happens during sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is when you feel like you're awake, meaning could see and hear, but your body's still asleep and unable to move. During this, you may be unable to move or speak for a couple seconds or even a few minutes. Some people also feel pressure on their chest, as if someone was sitting or standing on it. You might even be afraid because of a nightmare that you were having. This usually happens when you're first falling asleep or your body's getting ready to wake up. If you see a coin in your car door handle, run and call the police. Thieves have found a sneaky new way to steal vehicles. They put a coin in your car door handle just like this, and if it's on the passenger side, you probably won't notice it. Then when you go to lock your car, it won't lock properly, leaving it unlocked for thieves. They can then follow you home, go inside it, and steal everything, including the car itself. Two times Google Maps saved lives. One day, Sander Kochler was on his way to work when an ex-employee named John Charles kidnapped him. He said their boss owed him money, so he wanted to use Sander to set up a meeting with him. When John left the room, Sander used Google Maps to send his location to his boss. When his boss got his location, he called the police and drove there immediately. John was then arrested and sentenced to eight years in prison. When Saru was five years old, he got on a runaway train in India, which separated him from his family. He had to start a whole new life by himself, and he searched for his family for 23 years. Since he was so young at the time, he couldn't remember where they lived. The only thing that he could remember is that his hometown was closed off by two bridges. When Google Maps came out, he used it to find the two bridges and he found them. He then traveled to his hometown and was reunited with his family. 
Here's what movies look like without special effects. The Mandalorian was filmed in a studio with one big screen. Here's how Spider-Man flies in the sky. Here's what Thanos actually looked like before special effects. Most racing scenes aren't actually filmed in the streets, but in a studio. Although Jumanji was filmed in a desert, some scenes had to be filmed in a studio. The actors who play the monkeys in Planet of the Apes actually look pretty funny. And here's what I look like without special effects. The funniest ways people got revenge. When Mark's laptop was stolen from him, he hacked into it from his house and found an embarrassing video of the thief dancing in front of the camera. He then uploaded it to YouTube where it went viral and the thief saw it. So he returned the laptop begging for Mark to take the video down, but he didn't. When a girl found out her boyfriend had cheated on her, she asked him to get matching tattoos as a symbol of love, which he agreed to. But she left him without getting hers, leaving him with a tattoo to remind him of her. This guy was just doing his job painting over some graffiti, but I guess the people who painted it weren't too happy with him. They got revenge by painting him on the wall where he had just covered up. This delivery driver saw the words help us on a package and ended up saving a life. You're not gonna need a part two. A UPS driver in 2016 became a hero when he rescued a mother and son. After finding a message on a package he was delivering, a man named James was holding his wife and his three-year-old son captive at their own house. He kept his son locked in a bedroom with no food and water for up to 18 hours a day. And he was also physically abusing his wife. So the wife came up with a plan to escape. So she wrote a message saying to call 911 on the package she sent out, hoping that someone would see it. A UPS UPS driver saw the message and decided to call the police in case it wasn't a prank. And because of him, the SWAT team ended up going to the house and rescuing the mother and son. James was taken into custody and was charged with multiple counts of assault. Make sure to follow me to end part twos. Here's how fans found Marshmallow's real identity. In this picture on Instagram, you can see a red tattoo through the hole in his jeans. The DJ Chris Comstock also has a red tattoo on his leg. During this interview with Skrillex, someone named Chris phoned him and he said it was Marshmallow. And, uh, is that right now? It's Chris. Oh, Marshmallow. Finally, the DJ Feed Me posted a picture of him wearing Marshmallow's mask on his Instagram story. And if you look in the mirror, you can see Chris Comstock taking the picture with the rest of the outfit. It was later deleted, but fans noticed this and took screenshots. Here's three common things that you don't know the purpose of. Number one, the hole in donuts. A long time ago, it was hard to get the edges in the middle equally baked, so they came up with this shape so they didn't have any problems. Number two, the red line on paper. In the past, mice and rats used to chew on paper. So to prevent losing any information, they started leaving spaces where the damage was most likely to occur. And number three, the dimples in golf balls. Golf balls used to be completely smooth, but players realized that cracked and scuffed balls flew better, so they kept using their old ones. So manufacturers started adding dimples so people would buy new ones. Here's five world records you didn't know existed. The most toothpicks in a beard. It took Joel three hours and 13 minutes to put 3,500 toothpicks in his beard. The longest hair on a teenager, which is five feet and seven inches. The longest hula hoop spun, which is just over 17 feet in diameter. The tallest hat, which is 15 feet and nine inches. And finally, the largest table tennis bat, which is over 11 feet tall and six feet long. Here's the three most dangerous kid toys. In the 1990s, Rollerblade Barbie was released. Each Rollerblade used the same wheel mechanism they use in cigarette lighters. So when the Barbie was rolled, they would shoot out sparks. In 1996, the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid was released. It ate plastic foods that came with it and exited through a hole in the backpack. But the toy couldn't tell whether it was plastic, your finger, or your hair. And one girl's hair was ripped down to her scalp. Finally, in the 1990s, Nickelodeon released Moon Shoes, which you would strap onto your feet and the springs would help you jump higher. However, they weren't very safe and lots of people sprained and broke their ankles. Bad habits that are actually good for you. Sleeping in. Waking up when your body tells you to wake up rather than your alarm keeps your metabolism up, which means you could eat more food without gaining weight. And people who undersleep are more likely to eat larger portions of junk food. Complaining. Always looking at the bright side of life won't necessarily make you a happier person, but being realistic about the good and bad parts of your life has shown to be better for your mental health. Being messy. People who are messy tend to be more creative and they found to be 36% more efficient than people who are neat. Dust mites have a hard time living in messy conditions like an unmade bed so it can also be a good thing for people with allergies. Here's 5 things you didn't know about Spongebob. There was a replica of the Krusty Krab built in Palestine. The original name for Spongebob was Spongeboy Ahoy, but Spongeboy was copyrighted by a mob company. Tom Kenny, the voice actor for the anchovies, actually inhaled helium from a tank to do the voice. Carolyn Lawrence, the voice actor for Sandy, said she got lots of letters from prison and that was her biggest fan base. Barack Obama said his all-time favorite character is Spongebob Squarepants because he watched the show with his daughters. Now if you're from America or another country that doesn't have Spongebob on Netflix, you could click the link on my profile and download the app, then open it and change your location to Canada, and now when you search it up, you could watch it. 
Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like there's a giant pigeon but it's actually just sitting on a ledge and the person's walking in the distance. At first it looks like there's a human dog but the dog's actually sitting beside its owner. At first this looks like some weird looking cat but it's actually just two cats laying in the exact same position on each side. At first it looks like this fish has an arm but the fish just got too close to the camera. And finally it looks like this person has a small head but it's just the head from the person in front of them. One in a million coincidences. These two trucks lined up and said Taylor Swift. This guy took off the mask and looks more like Mario than Mario does himself. The mountains on the truck lined up perfectly with the mountains in real life. These two ladies were dressed up almost the exact same and they're doing the same thing. This news reporter looks the exact same as the robber that's on the loose. Here's things that are bigger than you thought. Here's how big a traffic light is compared to a human. Here's a polar bear's paw compared to a human hand. Traffic signs are actually really big. Here's a regular sized moose compared to vehicles. Here's how big the Titanic is compared to a modern cruise ship. Here's how big a tornado is compared to a wind turbine. And here's how big the blade of a wind turbine is compared to a human. Unexplained mysteries caught at schools. In 1961 at Westall High School in Melbourne, several students spotted a UFO that flew at low altitude. It made its way through trees until it took flight again and disappeared. Another unexplained mystery is the strange stench that hit a high school in Rhode Island. The stench, which was apparently from the cafeteria, was so strong that they had to suspend final classes. But to this day, they still have no clue what it was from. The Cokeville miracle occurred at an elementary school, where a former police officer and his wife brought a bomb to the school. They kidnapped the entire school in exchange for a large sum of money. The bomb the bomb exploded and the couple died on the spot, but thankfully none of the children were harmed. 